So from the onset, we can see the camera isn't that clear. The resolution is very poor. We can only see silhouettes. We can't tell the facial um, definition or the details on his face. You can't really tell who he is. And also, the tissue on the right side, I don't know whether it's tissue or whatever it is, you can tell that the right side has been blocked a bit. You can't tell what is going on at the far end. So if they don't have a camera that is capturing from that angle, that would be a very big problem because anything that goes on at that angle wouldn't be covered. Okay, so officer is trying to stuff some things in his pockets where it doesn't belong. Okay, so I think that's why he's dressed this way. Because the shirt should have been tucked in. He, he shouldn't be dressed this way at all. But even with the dressing, it will make it easier to get him because if they should go into his office, they'll probably be able to tell who he is. That is, with the people who know him, very well. Even with the bad resolution, they might be able to tell from um, his physique. And also, we can't even tell what is going on on that table. The money he's given out, the money he's taken, what the man placed on the counter, we can't tell. This is very, very important um, because whenever you should go back to check what happened there, you might not be able to tell the details. So, at a point as this, it's very crucial you should get um, a camera with a very good resolution. And they did a very bad job at this. But the uniform will give him away surely, so the issue would be solved. But it was, if it was to be any other person, you know, someone who's just passing through and might never come back again, I don't think he would have been caught at all. At this point, he looks a bit nervous. Um, looking behind him from time to time. Yeah, you can clearly see his nervous. But from the look of things, I think he'll get away with this. He will get away with this. Definitely. I mean, no one is going to suspect an officer. Nobody. And there it is. So what we can see here is um, a camera with a very good resolution. I mean, you can see a lot more details with the leaves on the ground and all that. But unfortunately, this uh, thief was very smart. He um, has a very good disguise with a mask on his face and all. And I think he knows there's a camera around. He knows there's a camera position there. And with a bicycle, I know um, he, th he knows there's no one at home. Let's see. It'll be difficult to um, get him because of the mask, but at least there are a bit of uh, details they can pick up with his height, uh, the bicycle. That would have been great, but if they had another camera at the other angle, probably, I don't know, give a bit detail as to where he went on the street and all that, that would have been great. But at least they know the time that he came to pick up the stuff. Where did that come from? That that's a blade from I'm sure it's from that kind um the machine, whatever they call it, I don't know. It's a cutting machine. Where could this be from? Wow. Anyway, um...
the camera has um, a bad resolution. We couldn't really tell the facial features of the guy that robbed the vehicle. But it's good enough to see that it's a man and he has a mask on as well. So even with a better resolution, nothing, it wouldn't have really made a lot of difference. And he's on a bicycle. That would be very difficult to track him as compared to if he was a car, we could track the number plate and all that. But what I have to say is, this is something we should be very mindful of. We should be placing um, bags and other stuff on the seat if you are not in a vehicle, if you are away from the vehicle. This kind of entice the bad guys to come and break in. So I just want to point um, this thing out. You can tell the camera is showing black and white pictures why is doing that is because the room is pitch black if you should go in there you can't see anything you can tell the guy is there with a flashlight what is happening here is the camera is shooting a beam of infrared light that makes the camera able to see what is happening inside the room it does this automatically when the light in the room isn't that much for you to see with uh, the real colors you and i will see so that is why we are seeing it um, as black and white. I'm thinking they should be in the night. And with this, it will be difficult to, you know, point out uh, most of the features of the face. Okay, so we can tell this place has um, better colors than what we saw before. And it's because there are lights at this point. The lights, they are good enough for the cameras to see without the infrared light. That is why we are seeing it this way. 